Good morning. Oh, y'all, we are going strong with our, I'm going to call it May month menu challenge week. Um, we're using our five ingredient box all this week. We've all been making yummy, yummy food, Laurie, Shannon, and me, and other members on our team and our uh, supper club community. So fun. So tonight we are making, or today we're going to do this savory, sweet and savory baked chicken. And actually, I just realized it's a marinade, basically. So we're gonna make the marinade, and then we're gonna move on to the caramel apple dunk cake, which is why y'all are here, because we're gonna make this dunk cake in like five minutes. It's gonna be so fast. So I'm super excited that we are gonna get going. And don't forget, if y'all are interested in any of our menu boxes, um, for a few more days, you can use the code Mother's Day, no, like apostrophes or anything, M-O-T-H-E-R-S-D-A-Y, should have written it out, and get 25% off any of our menu plans. Five ingredients or less has definitely been a big, big seller. It's amazing, and we're gonna cook through it. Um, on our main menu, let's see. Uh, so this week in May, wait, that was April. I've got May on black. We are definitely making it this week and next week, and then we're gonna to move to the summer menu. So uh, if you wanted to get this and summer menus, if you don't have them already, you'll get free shipping, make some $33 each. We're gonna get started, y'all. So let me show y'all. Um, let's see. I think y'all can see. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, y'all, I feel really discombobulated this morning because I don't know. I got all my stuff out and all of my jars were like new things. I had to open them all and I'm just feeling nervous today. I'm just going to admit it. Like, I don't know why. Like, I haven't done a video in a really long time. So, let's talk about this marinade. It's one cup of teriyaki sauce and like I said, sweet and savory chicken. I know that's backwards for y'all and I'm sorry. Um, this is from week six of the five ingredients. So, we need one cup of teriyaki sauce and y'all I'm using this it's a lesser sodium because recently I have found out I need to eat lower sodium so yeah that's fun um, so I'm giving it a try so I need one cup of this y'all see me we're just gonna put it in here and then we need one cup of orange juice that was one of the things that I had to open and it was giving me a fit So that is smelling delicious already. I'm gonna close these up because the way my morning's going, I will knock them over. And then we need one third a cup of brown sugar. Get that in here. And then one teaspoon of dried rosemary. Oh, y'all, that smells good. If y'all have fresh rosemary, no, y'all, that's not going to fit in there. I thought for sure it would. All right, it's okay. Boom. All right. That is it. Now, the reason I'm not putting my chicken in, and this is kind of what got me all messed up this morning, which, but I'm kind of glad I didn't have to mess with chicken, is you're only supposed to marinate it for like one to two hours, but not more than four hours. And that is because of all of the acid and everything with the orange juice. So uh, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this up, probably put it in a baggie. Oh, y'all, it smells really, really good. This stuff, I don't know. I think I'm going to recommend it. I can tell by the smell. It's going to be fabulous. Um, so here's what you do. You're going to marinate it one to two hours, one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Let it marinate a couple hours. Take it out 30 minutes before baking. Preheat your oven to 400. Line a baking dish with foil. Spray with cooking spray. Put your chicken down along with half a cup of the marinade and then you're gonna discard the remaining marinade. If you don't wanna discard it, you can boil it up. That'll cook all the chicken yuckiness out of it and serve it. I believe. I know I've done that before. Uh, bake uncovered 30 to 40 minutes or until your chicken reaches 165 degrees. 
We're gonna move on from the marinade because that's just simple, simple. Let me get it out of the way. We're gonna move right along to our dump cake. So I have a nine by 13 that I have greased and this is the caramel apple dump cake. Alrighty, so here we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, y'all, I'm supposed to have a, another bowl. How in the world? Hold on, let me get another bowl. of Facebook Live. You think you are so organized and have everything? I mean, look. I even have stuff in my thingy, my little basket. I had it all out last night, all organized. God just laughs. He's like, you think you got it together? Okay, so, oh, let me tell you what this is. We have two 21 ounce cans of apple pie filling. and read any comments that y'all have. And listen, if y'all go share this video, I should have said it earlier, and maybe I did and I've just forgotten. Like I said, I'm off my game. We will give away a $25 Amazon gift card to one of you lucky people who shares the video because Facebook is not showing our stuff. Okay, so that is two cans of apple pie filling. Y'all, that smells amazing already. I need to rinse my hand really quickly. All right. Oh, the other thing I don't have are my, uh, my um, measuring spoons. What, what am I doing? I need a teaspoon, which I did have that teaspoon with the oregano, so we'll use that. That's good. All right, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Yum. Y'all, cinnamon is so good for you. I just keep reading and hearing that over and over. It can lower blood sugar. Um, I think it can help with high blood pressure. All right, now we're gonna also need, y'all, this ain't gonna work, here we go. A teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And I have really gotten to where I love to use the whole nutmeg and just, put it on my microplaner. I am not going to measure this because it's just going to be too hard. So we're just going to eyeball it and grate a little on there. Hope y'all can see. Let me put y'all down a little bit more. There we go. Oh, this smells fabulous. This smells like the holidays to me. I think that is plenty. And Y'all, this stuff lasts forever. Okay, I think that's it. We're just gonna stir that together. And I'm wondering if I could have just done it in my pan, but this way I know it'll get all mixed up together. So we're gonna pour this in our pan first. Y'all, I'm so proud of our team. We have made every recipe in week six this week. And day one of the week is the chicken zucchini, or chicken parm zucchini boats. Oh, goodness gracious, y'all, they're so good. I had them for um, lunch yesterday, my leftovers, and I was just like, oh, this is a good recipe. Okay, let me make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay, we're gonna pour this in the baking dish. Like I said, this is a dunk cake. And I really think you could have, you could dump it all in here. I want to get all of the gooeyness. <clears throat> oh yeah, yum yum yum. That's what I say to my grandson. I'm gonna teaching him how to say yum yum, and he's like yum 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 yum. That's so cute. over here. Get them evenly kind of spread out so you have apple goodness in every bite. Okay, now 
we're going to do our caramel. Okay, here is big excitement. So, it calls for one and a half cups of caramel squares, but enter the caramel bites. These are amazing. I've been seeing so many reviews about this. Um, you're supposed to use one and a half cups. I don't have a measuring cup out here. So we're gonna eyeball it. Oh goodness. And I'm gonna spread these around. I'll probably choose the whole thing. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so if you use these, just go ahead and use the whole bag. I, I think it's probably fairly close to one and a half cups. Someone in our supper club said, go ahead and buy two bags because she could not stop snacking on one of the bags. So that was really funny. Okay, now we're gonna take a yellow cake mix. Duncan Hines is my favorite, but you get what you can find for the best price. I love when I can find these BOGO and I will stock up. Okay, we're gonna to top with the, I was reading the directions again to make sure I wasn't wrong. This is right. We're gonna to just top this with our cake mix. Oh goodness. Now, here's my question to y'all. Do you think that I should bake this right away or do you think that it will last until this afternoon? I'm gonna pour some butter on top of it. Let me know because I really need to go run some errands right now. But I can hold off if you really think I need to bake it. It's going to bake at 350 for, oh, it's got to wait, bake 45 minutes. So I'd really, really like to, to hold off on doing it. So I'm going to put y'all up for a minute and see what y'all think about. Have y'all ever held a dump cake? Maybe I shouldn't put the butter on. I've got my melted butter right here. What do y'all think? Give me, y'all are always so smart and know all the answers to everything. So tell me, um, Lindsay says, can you put it in the fridge if you bake it? Yes, you can. Uh, Julie says, bake right away. Wait and put butter on when you get home. But that's what I'm kind of wondering. If I could do that, will y'all be super sad if I don't put the butter on it? I have my butter here. I'll show y'all. Cut the butter into small pat. Well, it's it's like this. It's melted. It's melted butter, so I can't. Um, let's see what it says. It's one cup of melted butter. Pour melted butter evenly over top of cake. Bake 45 minutes or until the top is lightly brown and the edges are bubbling. And then you can serve with vanilla ice cream and caramel sauce if you want to. Because why not? Uh, I think it would be baked, put butter on. I think you could bake it later. It won't hurt it to sit. I kind of don't think so. But I'm wondering if now if I do have time, let me put my oven on 350. Let me start it. Maybe my daughter will get it out for me. Um, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, because I still really need to eat breakfast too, so. I'll probably be here 45 more minutes. It'll be okay. All right, so, oh, well, there's a little hair. Glad that was my family. So, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Going for it. And here we go. Just want to pour this over. And all that goodiness. Now, y'all, this is a lot of butter. I am definitely feeling like Paula Dean over here. It's gonna soak down in there though, but there's no eggs, there's no nothing. It's like, it's just magical. I don't know how it does it, but it does. And there you go. That is the caramel apple dump cake from the five ingredient or less box. If y'all have got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them about any of the recipes or any other questions about the five ingredient or less box. They are all five ingredients with a few staples that you likely have on hand. And it has been a bestseller. It's amazing. So tonight I am either going to do 
the sweet and savory baked chicken that we made the marinade for our mate. Whoa! Hello! See y'all? It's been a day. Um, or, I'm one day behind. I think everyone made these. No, I'm two days behind. The garlic steak and potato packets. I have all the ingredients for that too. So, oh, goodness. Okay, uh, Lauren said I made something very similar, but she puts pats of butter on top. Yes, pats would work too. So I really feel like if you wanted to do this with pats, and I've done that too. I'm trying to think what cake it is. I think it's the blueberry duck cake that you do that on as well. And maybe it would be a cake, I can't remember. But either way, I think it's gonna be fabulous. That's all I've got, y'all. And if y'all have questions, I'll keep looking at comments. But use the code today for, use the code Mother's Day if you want one, uh, or if you wanna send a gift, y'all, these are great gifts too. So have a great day. Y'all keep sharing a uh, Tanner to win a $25 Amazon gift card. We'll see y'all later. Bye. If I can stop this, that's weird. Y'all, my button is not even here to stop. Oh, there it is. That was really weird.